Hey everyone, my name is Spursh and welcome back in another cool video on Just a Tech YouTube channel. So in today's video, I will show you how you can bypass latest iOS 14.2 with SIM working, cellular data working, FaceTime, Siri, notification, App Store, everything working after the iCloud bypass. And the best part, this method is compatible with the Windows operating system. That means you just need to jailbreak with on Windows machine using my custom ISO file and you can bypass it on Windows machine using the bypass tool. I will show you step by step the complete procedure. It's a very simple and the easy way to bypass it on Windows. And I will also tell you which device and iOS version is supported and which is not. So make sure you watch full video till the end. And this process is only for those who forgot their own Apple ID account password and don't have to access the recovery option anymore. So you can try this method and access to your device. So without taking more time, let's jump to the computer screen and start this process. Now first thing you have to jailbreak your device with the Checkrain latest version 0.12.1 So you have to just go to my blog and you will get the dedicated video on my channel also So just scroll it down you will get the links of the Checkrain 0.12.1 windows version iso file so just download it and after that you have to check your device compatibility first because this bypass method with sim working is only compatible with the gsm devices that means iphone 7 7 plus iphone 8 8 plus and iphone x is supported and that only the gsm devices not for the meid devices so you can visit my blog link and then you can check your device compatibility you have to just put your imei number here and it will tell you your device is meid or no meid so just visit this page on my blog and you will get all information like how to check your device is meid or no meid or watch this video it will help you out and there are two three ways to check your device is meid or no meid so you can visit the blog link you will get all the information here i have shown the online method and the offline method also so if you have a gsm device no meid iphone 7 to x models only the sim will work and if you have a other meid devices you can get everything but without sim now let's move further to the jailbreak part after the download of the checkrain iso file that is 0.12.1 windows you have to first extract the zip file then you will get the iso file and the readme file if you are using first time checkrain make sure you go through that the readme file and you will get all the instructions here and if you are aware of the checkrain jailbreak and the bootable process so you can directly make the iso file bootable now after that you have to make the usb bootable by this the iso file of the checkrain for that just use the rufus tool pelena hf will not work so make sure that you use only rufus tool and if you don't know how to get the rufus tool it's very easy just google it the rufus and you will get the official website it's a free tool so just download it from the official website now after that you will need a usb pen drive so just insert your usb stick or you can use the memory card with the memory card reader also and select the checkrain iso file now after that select your hard disk partition type this iso file support both GPT or MBR partition type and 32 bit and 64 bit both operating system. You can use this file on Intel and AMD both. So you can easily run Checkrain on any Windows machine. Now the bootable process is completed. Now just simply restart your PC and just go to your BIOS settings or boot manager settings and select your pen drive and boot from it. Bio shortcut and boot manager shortcut are different for all the models so you can simply google it according to your PC model and you will get the shortcut key of your bio settings or boot manager settings. Now you have to select your USB pen drive from the list. It supports the UEFI mode and the old legacy BIOS so you can easily run on any windows machine. So just click on that. Now just wait for the 5 seconds it will automatically load the checkrain 0.12.1. Now you can see on the screen we have run successfully 0.12.1 checkrain and now you have to just connect your device so just simply connect it. Now after that you will see your iPhone model and the iOS version on the checkrain screen. Go to the option 
And here is the important part. If you have a iPhone 8, 8 Plus or iPhone X, that means A11 devices, you have to select that option that is skip A11 BPR check option. And after that you can proceed and if you have a other models like iphone 7 7 plus and the lower models you can proceed without checking any options Now we are done with the jailbreak part and you will see all done on your laptop screen. After that you don't need to reboot your device, you have to just simply quit the checkrin app and you will see the terminal below and on that you have to type reboot and hit on enter. It will reboot your PC and remove your USB stick and you will directly reboot your Windows machine. Okay now we are back on our windows machine, our device is now jailbroken, you don't need to reboot your device, if you reboot your device you have to jailbreak it again, so make sure that you don't reboot your device after the jailbreak. Now after the download just simply extract the tool from the winrar. Now just open the tool. Now just connect your device and after that your device detail will show on the tool like iOS version, model number, serial number and IMA number. After that just click on the activate button. Now it will start bypassing your device so don't disconnect your device until the process. Now after the successful message you will see your device will be successfully bypassed. Now you have to just set up your device. So just click on OK and you can now close the tool and just set up your device. Now I have successfully bypassed my device and there is no iCloud ID in the settings. Now you have to first reboot your device. All these steps are important so watch the video carefully. After that you have to just reboot your device and on again. Now you can see it's fully untethered. Now you have to just put your sim card. It support 3G, 4G, all the sim cards. So you have to just plug your sim card and you will see the signals and your network name on the top. After that you can try to make calls. Now as you can see I get the signals and my network name. So let me test the calling function. So I will try on the random number. Now as you can see there is no call failed and the call is successfully connected. So you can try this method and the sim card is working for the GSM device. Now the next thing go to the settings and now you can use your own Apple ID account here. So just enter your Apple ID and the password and after that you are successfully logged in your Apple ID account. Now you can see I have successfully logged in. Now you can use the FaceTime, Siri and everything. So iCloud storage is also working. 
let me show you the facetime now you can see facetime is also working now let me try the siri now siri is also working so everything is working app store is working so you can try this method and activate your device successfully so that's all for today i hope you gain some knowledge and enjoy the video then hit the like button and if you're new here subscribe to the channel so till then goodbye take care and peace out